Molweni. Bonjour. Comment ça va? These are the two languages that I was brought up with in my household. Languages can be seen both as a barrier, but also what gives us identity and allows us to communicate in our communities. But now what happens when you do not have a mother tongue in African continent? Do you have an identity? Do you have a place to belong? Ngugi says that colonized languages are what separates Africans from themselves. They take us away from who we really are. In this video, I try to address how people um, in, who do not have a mother tongue are separated, but I also try to address the fun in learning a language. So I hope you enjoy. <music> Hi guys, salut les gens. So, we decided on a décidé to help people Bébé les gens learn French. Apprendre le français. So, people always ask us. Alors, la majorité des gens souvent l'habitude de nous poser des questions. Like how do you say English phrases in French? De savoir comment est-ce qu'on peut traduire les phrases en anglais puis les mettre en français. Oh, how to translate French into English. Ou encore comment traduire le français à l'anglais. So we are gonna be helping. So nous allons commencer à vous aider. Learn the love language. Apprendre la langue romantique qui est le français. <laughs> so some phrases that people like to know. Uh... La majorité des phrases que les gens aimeraient connaître. Uh, you are ugly. Son, tu es vilain. <laughs> uh, you are like you're beautiful. Tu es belle ou beau pour les gens. Uh -huh. And the most favorite that we always get is I love you. Et le plus. Yeah. Oh, C'est une <laughs> <laughs> mean for me language language is both uniter and divider it brings unity to people who speak the same language it makes people happy it has a history behind it. language my mother tongue is society but I cannot speak it I wasn't raised to speak it. I didn't grow up speaking it. But everyone around me, my parents, they did. When I go back home to Eswatini, Swaziland, it's, it's difficult because everyone else speaks it and then I'm just the rotten egg <laughs> who speaks English. Along with my other siblings, of course, but it's, it's crazy. It's crazy how a language can unite a people. And I feel so segregated whenever I visit Swaziland because my whole family, they, they gel. They gel very well together, especially because they understand each other very well. Can our level of Africanness then be measured? According to Nigerian activist Spectrum, she looks at how oppression has led many of our mother tongue languages to be oppressed especially in our parents therefore leaving most of our parents believing that having speaking a colonized language would be more beneficial to their child though from a good heart the result is that less and less people or rather upcoming generations are learning their mother tongue therefore less and less culture is being transformed from one another but is it the policing of the language um, meant to be done? Who can police the languages? As someone who comes here and learn an African language, seen as more African than those who are being born here but cannot speak the language, is race a factor? Is language enough? How do we define African is what we should be asking ourselves. And is it right to be policing? Because do we not show the same traits or traits rather the like the ones that oppressed us too such as the west those are the questions that this has brought up to me and questions that we should ask one another one another